Black Twitter 100. So I don't understand what they mean when they say Black Twitter. Probably because all of the participants are black. But how do we know? We could be getting catfish. What is the deal with that? It could be little white girls from Nebraska that's on there slandering your favorite artists. We don't know. To me, my Twitter is just my Twitter. You know what I mean? Everybody I follow, they cover a broad array of topics. A lot of people don't have their own train of thought anymore. Like a lot of social media or Twitter in general, thanks for a lot of people. Like a lot of people won't even give their opinion on something out of fear of getting retweeted and getting slandered. So they sit and they wait for certain people to give their opinion to agree with it. You know what I mean? You jump out the window and say an album is hot. majority of the people don't think it's hot, they're gonna tell you shut your dumb ass up. Shut up. <laughs> Next thing you know, you ready to hit your block button and make your page private. You're right. That's a piss floor problem. Okay. My house. <laughs> so many people done slandered, slandered the shit out of you. So it's just really a scrim for numbers with Twitter. It's just like anything else. When it's a lot of people in a party, that party's gonna look packed. So it's the same thing with retweets. If I tweet something that 200, 300 people agree with, you may not even agree with it. But since you see everybody else retweeting it, you like, well, let me retweet it too. It's a lot of people I thought was really cool. It has made me look at them and be like, yo, they corny as hell. I think Instagram has done that more so for me than, than, than Twitter has though. Especially when I see people who are just so superficial. At least on Twitter, it's wit. You get to see people's creativity when it comes to the way they word things. With Instagram, it's just like, yo, if you don't got nothing to say, you could just flash some superficial shit. That's why so many girls have so many followers on Instagram, but don't have any on Twitter, especially the pretty girls. Cause you want to look at them, they don't got nothing to say. So it's like, the hell am I following you on Twitter for? I just watch you on Instagram. But it helps too though, cause there's some people who didn't have no personality. Like, I didn't think Fabulous had no personality before Twitter. He was just too cool for school. He was a great lyricist. But then when Twitter came, you actually saw your fab is a funny dude, he got a personality. And, and it's like, I was in Fab Cuffin' Season video. I could just see, he was like, y'all want this here, I want that there. It's like, coupling that with Twitter, it's like, yo, Fab, it's more layers to Fab than just being the coolest person in the room that don't have nothing to say.